Hey, it's Marley. Let's talk about how to cut a pineapple. Why? Because fresh is always so much better than canned. I realize if you haven't cut a fresh pineapple before, it may seem a little scary. I mean, what are you supposed to do with this prickly top and all this rough, scaly skin? The thing is, it's easier than you think, and I'm going to show you how to cut a fresh pineapple in a few simple steps. There's so many things you could do with fresh pineapple. Cut it into chunks and serve it on a fruit tray. You can even use the crown as decoration. It's delicious added to a smoothie. This pina colada smoothie is my favorite. Or it adds delicious tropical flavor for an ice cream. It takes 13 to 16 months for a pineapple plant to produce a mature pineapple. That's a lot of time and resources and growing by the mother plant for every pineapple that you see. We should all be a little more grateful for every pineapple in the produce section. With that gratitude, we want to make sure we use as much of the fresh fruit as possible every time you cut a pineapple. Wondering how to get the best fresh pineapple? Well, unlike most fruit, pineapples are non-climatic. That means that they don't ripen after being picked. However, they will get softer and juicier as they sit. But that means you want to get the very best fresh pineapple you can when you're in the store. Here's how to do that. The crown should be green. You can't tell much about the ripeness of the pineapple from the color of the skin, but a nice green crown is a huge indicator you've got a great pineapple. The eye should be flat and not pointy. The skin should yield slightly when pressed. If it's too firm, pass on that pineapple. Sniff its bottom. I know that sounds gross, but seriously, if you hold the base of the pineapple up to your nose, it should have that distinctively sweet pineapple aroma. Skip pineapples that have no scent or smell kind of fermented. Because pineapples are picked at the peak of ripeness, it's best to use them within a few days. So let's get to it. Here are the easiest ways to cut a pineapple. First, lay the pineapple down on its side. Cut off the crown going about a half an inch below the start of the skin. Cut a half an inch off the bottom. Now cut downward strips to remove the fibrous skin. Use a paring knife to remove any remaining eyes. Now let's talk about that tough inner core. It is edible, but it's fibrous and requires a lot of chewing. Here are three ways to remove that core depending on how you want your slices to come out. For pineapple rings, place the skinned pineapple on its side on a cutting board. Now cut it into slices. Use a small round cookie cutter or biscuit cutter to cut out the core on each slice. It's that easy. For pineapple strips and chunks, cut the skinned pineapple in half. Then cut each of those halves in half to create four quarters. Cut down the center of each of the quarters to remove the core. Cut the remaining pineapple into strips or chunks. Now let's talk about how to freeze pineapple chunks. I like having frozen pineapple chunks because it makes it easy to add them to green smoothies or banana ice cream or any favorite desserts that you have. Add pineapple chunks to a freezer bag and freeze them flat in a single layer. Then once the fruit is frozen, massage the bag slightly to break up any chunks that may have frozen together. Then put the bag back in the freezer where you'll have access to frozen pineapple for months. I hope you found this guide on cutting pineapples helpful. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below and click subscribe for more delicious vegan recipes.